Sheila, thank you so much for joining us here today. So we have a little bit of information so far from some of the airlines that you cover, including United. We saw a surprise profit there from Delta. What do you like so far about what you've heard from these two and what might it portend for what we are yet to hear today? So we did see a surprise profit out of Delta and United. Um, these companies pre-announced, so their revenues were pretty much known that they're 30% below 2019 levels, give or take, on the average for the group. Um, what we saw from United is shifting the conversation from cost to capacity. So one of the headwinds for the airlines in Q4 is fuel cost. Fuel uh, is up 80% year to date. You're basically at 2018 levels, even though revenues are 30, 40% below prior peaks. So you're seeing that as a major headwind, it's going to take a lag four to six months to pass that price increase onto the consumer. So you're, you're talking about some cost headwinds into Q4 with fuel comprising about 30% of costs for the airlines. So United did something interesting yesterday. They shifted the conversation away from the cost into capacity into 2022. And they're saying that they're gonna see international capacity 10% above 2019 levels, which was very surprising and quite aggressive to us. And domestic capacity is gonna be flat with 2019 levels. So they're gonna see some massive aggressive ramps in the international side. And given, a, given United is more focused on uh, the Pacific, they are going to be more, um, and the Pacific is the latest region to recover, they are going to be more focused on increasing capacity in the Atlantic, the Middle East, India, uh, and parts of uh, Asia, uh, Africa. And then as, as we look to, to American Airlines, which is reporting today, of course, we still have yet to see the return of the business passenger, at least at, at anywhere near the levels that we had previous to the pandemic. How important will the expectations for that be as investors try to sort of gauge who might be better prepared to deal with the uncertainty that continues for these major airlines. That's a great point, Courtney. He heading into this earnings season, we thought it was all about bookings given leisure is essentially at 2019 levels for the U.S. airlines. So it would be about corporate, which is 30 to 50 percent, give or take, uh, depending on the airline for their top line, but also a bigger part of their uh, earnings, just given uh, the yields for corporate customers are higher. Uh, but United has started to shift that capacity to the longer longer term. Um, so for American, we're, we're looking for color on what they're seeing for bookings. The commentary from Delta and United has been very robust in what they're seeing into October so far. Um, so more of the same from, uh, from American. Uh, and American is well positioned, as is Delta, given their corporate hubs tend to be in the southwest U.S. and uh, southern U.S., and that's where it is picking up mm. versus San Fran, Chicago, and New York, Newark for United, which we think will see a slower recovery. And when you look at Southwest, obviously it was now several weekends ago that they had that weekend of major cancellations. And I believe we were speaking with one analyst that said, look, it's it's a bigger problem than one weekend because it is it is a hit to revenue when sort of every seat matters as the airlines are are coming back. What do you think that portends for what we could hear uh, from Southwest and and how they will be prepared to move forward here and especially try to get back some of the loyalty they might have lost with some of those customers that were left high and dry that weekend? I think it's a difficult, it's not only for Southwest, we're seeing it across the industry uh, in, in terms of just operational issues as you've seen capacity come back on pretty quickly and you're seeing you know, ri rising fuel costs, but wage inflation is an issue across the industry, not only the airlines, but also our aerospace and defense coverage as well. Um, so you, you're seeing those issues magnified. So I don't think Southwest will be alone, although obviously they were under the magnifying glass with their uh, issues that one weekend.